You're you're getting to work with the king of Memphis, standing in yeah. a professional wrestling ring in Memphis, yeah. across from Jerry Lawler, yeah, live on television. Oh yeah, this is an incredible big deal for you, for, right? For me, a hundred percent. Now for anybody, if, yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, but but for me, especially because I knew the 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 gravity of of Lawler in Memphis, just like a Jarrett in Memphis, just like a Fuller in Memphis. You know what I mean? Like there were just like Dundee, just like there there, there are some stalwarts in, in Memphis that were there and that were always there and could always come back and, and get a huge pop. But, but King was that. It was just that. King was the king of Memphis. And so, yeah, it was a huge deal. Now, now look, granted, I still was in the old uh, not appreciating what where I was and, and what I had. And at the same time, talk about a pay cut. Uh, go, going from being the roadie and working at WrestleManias to uh, to working in that. So this is just reality talking and not, you know, you know I, I guess it's, I guess it's fantasy or whatever or lore or whatever that that is that. Oh my lord, he was in the ring with Jerry Lawler in Memphis. Yes, there right. is something to that. But I had a baby on the way, and I was making three hundred dollars a week. You know what I mean? Like it was, it was not the. Uh, the ideal life life moment that you're you exactly expect it to be, but in retrospect, you definitely can go, wow, big moment, cool moment, uh, and and was a great way to start my run there with with uh, USWA, you know.